Hello everyone on YouTube, it's Chachi with Black and White Entertainment, and today I will be doing a tutorial on how to set your spawn point in Minecraft. Now before with the uh, standard Minecraft server software, you could not set your spawn point, but today we're going to be looking at the Essentials mod, which allows you to do a number of other things that include setting your spawn point for you and everybody else that joins the server. So what you're going to need is you're going to need to download uh, Craft Bucket's latest build, which is right here, I'll give you a link to that in the description. Um, you're going to need to download uh, the Essentials Core, which is a zip file. Just put that on your desktop right beside your uh, bucket. And that's pretty much it. So you're just going to make a new server file wherever you want the server to be held. And you're going to put your craft bucket file inside of that empty folder. Once you've got that in there, you're going to launch that um, executable jar file. And um, it's going to generate all these different files here and we're just going to leave that as it is and we're going to go control alt delete and load up the task manager um, main reason why I'm doing this is just because launching that executable jar file will leave it running in the background and you kinda don't want that to be running in the background here's in your processes java.exe32 and process there. So now that we got that done, we're going to go to our notepad. Open up your notepad and we're going to go to setting up a server on your um, bucket, wiki, whatever here. This isn't wiki, but you're going to copy this text if you're using Windows. I'm not going to do a Mac tutorial because I don't use a Mac. So um, just going to copy this, all this text right here, and pop it in your notepad. And now, what we're going to do, if you're running 64-bit, which you can find out by going start, right-clicking on computer and going to properties, um, if you're running 64-bit, you're going to need to change this program files text right here. If you're running 32-bit, just leave it as it is. But for me, I'm running 64, so I'm going to go like this. Oh, nope, that was right. Times 86 and there. So program files times 86 in parentheses, I guess is what it's called. And then we're going to go to our craft bucket dot jar and we're going to copy the name that they've just their most recent name here, which is going to be always posted right up at the top there. Copy that and replace this craft bucket dot jar with that one we copied from the page. And that's going to make sure it's reading the right um, program that we just downloaded. Because if you download the newest program, you're going to put, have to put in the newest version type into your notepad. So we're going to hit save, save that. We're just going to, I'm just going to put that on my desktop for now. We're going to type in RUN capital letters dot um, BAT as it says at the bottom of the other page right here. Hit save. See it says save the document as run.bat not as a txt. There's our run.bat so cut it, put it into our server folder here anywhere really and launch it. And it'll open up this window. Now I know it's very, very tempting. Yeah, allow access. It's very, very, um, not tempting, uh, disheartening, I guess, when you see this black window pop up and you're like, oh, this sucks, it's too hard. But um, this isn't hard. I thought it was going to be super difficult to learn, but you won't need to do much. Just think of this as a regular Minecraft server um, window. So. Now, while this is preparing the spawn area, we're going to open up our essentials. And we're going to copy all of these and put them into our plugins folder here. Copy, paste. There they are. Done. All right. Perfect. So now, now that we have this black window open, um, you're going to make sure you need to type in stop and hit enter. Not, don't close it because closing it will screw it up. So you're going to type in stop, hit enter, and it'll save it. When it's done, press any key, it'll close it. And then you go back to your server here, launch our run file again, and it'll load it all up. And praying star region. And let's see, essentials, there, all of our mods are loaded in. This is how you do with any mod, or any plugin, sorry, into your bucket servers. You just download these uh, executable jar files and you put it in your plugin folder and you can do that with anything so now that we got that launched I'm going to turn on my Minecraft here and I'm going to show you how to do the set spawn command 
There we go. It's a little laggy today, but hopefully it won't be too bad. You have no new mail. That's one of the features that comes with the Essentials mod. So, as you can all see, I spawned right under this tree sort of area. So, it's a little laggy, but I'm going to walk over, swim across to this little sandy island here. And yes, I know my server in the background is all like freaking out at me because it's overloaded. But, um, so I'm just going to walk a fair ways away so you guys know I'm not anywhere near the original spawn point. And I'm going to go to my black, black window here, and I'm going to type in OP and then my username. You're going to want to type in your username because you want to OP yourself. So, now that we've got that, I'm going to type in set spawn. Oh, my bad spell. Set spawn, and there, lo spawn location set for group default. So right where I'm standing is where everybody's going to spawn now. So let's test that out. I'm going to go fly up in the air and kill myself somewhere else, and we'll spawn in that same area. Come on, fly. There we go. All right, so I'm going to like kill myself right here, and you'll see we'll spawn in that sand over there. Ready? Game mode. Username zero. Oh, is it one? Oh, I didn't do slash. <laughs> zero. There we go. Fall, die. Okay, that's really sucked. But look where we're going to spawn. Bingo. So there you guys go. We've successfully reset our spawn point and for everybody else that will join our server now. Um, if you don't know any uh, how to input your world or anything else into this um, into our server now, go check out my other tutorial on how to do all that. And um, thanks for watching. Hopefully I answered all your questions. Try not to post too many questions in the comment section. I don't know when I'll get to answer them, but I will try my best to. And thank you for watching everybody.